Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser is killed on how are you my dear learners. In this video, we are going to talk about a free open source software, Edenco, which will help you to understand how to run SAM, Structural Equation Modeling and Smart PLS, meaning Partial Least Squared Technique. In our social science, we quite often use different type of variables to understand that dependent variable in marketing, in social science, or in the finance, or even economics, we have several variables to explain the dependent variable. For instance, if we would like to understand the customer satisfaction, there are so many indicators that can influence to understand the customer satisfaction of a product in a marketing. So, in order to understand those relationship and empirically test, we need a software, which is of course free, and we can easily run the software without having any problem and Anand Adenco is such a software that we can do very easily the smart PLS and SAM analysis. It is an alternative of Amos and smart PLS. Both these softwares Amos and smart PLS are not free. They are licensed and you have to pay for it. But the one that I am sharing here it is completely free and you can easily use it in your research and thesis and data analysis. So let's see how it works. Now, my dear learners, the first thing that we'd like to see is the variable. We are here understanding the customer satisfaction, which is overall I am satisfied with the product and service. There are T A S T one, T two, T three. There are three important variables under customer satisfaction. These are defining the customer satisfaction. This is defining the brand loyalty. Like for example, I will continue to buy from this brand. I prefer this brand over others. So these three indicators or these three independent variables representing the brand loyalty. Similarly, the purchasing intention. This also can influence the customer satisfaction and therefore I am adding PL1, PL2 and PL3. These three important variables which are representing the purchase intention. All these variables are in the Likert scale, which means I am using Likert scale for my survey and data collection. Okay. So path modeling here, direct path, which means customer satisfaction influencing the purchase intention, meaning that if customers are satisfied, they will buy more of your product and service. Okay. So let me see, let, let us see the data set. For example, customer satisfaction one, customer satisfaction two, these are my variables. And these are brand loyalty variables and these three are purchasing intention. These variables are using for from my survey questionnaire and when I collect the data, these are the data set that I have collected. So these are my hypothetical data set and I can use, uh, you can always use customer satisfaction data like the Likert scale or probably in a uh, qualitative way, you can use those information in different type of variables. So I am using this type of variables because I am collecting the data under 5 or 4 or uh, 10 Likert scale measurement. So that is the data set that we can, we are using. You can use it your other Likert scale information. For example, 1 for this, 2 for that, 3 for that. There is no issue of that. The software that I am talking about is called the um, download Edenco. So once we open the Edenco, Edenco, it will open up this type of interface. Edenco is the advanced analysis of composites. Edenco is especially focused for the smart PLS and Amos alternative. In sociology, social work, economics, and even in the literature, we use this structural equation modeling and SAM and also the PLS in order to understand the relationship between the latent variable and the independent variables. So this software, the Adenco, will help you to understand it very clearly. So you can simply download. It is a MS Mac Windows option and Mac option. So once you download, you install it. And once you install it, then you will open up like this, Adenco. So the Adenco software will look like this. So there are two options, create a new project and open up an existing project. Okay. So first of all, what you can do, since we are doing it from the scratch, so we are going for the create a new project. So what do you have to do? Just first uh, name the project and save the project. So we can say the project one in the desktop. I save it and the software will open. This is kind of a nice little interface. And this is the first construct, which means the variable that is representing 
our other information for example customer satisfaction there are several variables so customer satisfaction is a construct or brand loyalty is a construct or purchasing intention is a construct under that construct there are several variables which may be correlated and usually when we use the PLS we use partial least square when we have a correlationship between different variables for example in under the brand loyalty there are three independent variables and these three independent variables are correlated to each other so we would like to know these correlated variables how it influences the customer satisfaction only it has a collinearity or correlationship among those variables under the first construct or brand loyalty customer satisfaction or purchasing intention at that time only we can use partial least square technique so for example now our main idea is to open the data set for instance go to the project import the data so i already have this data set in my computer so what i can do is i go to the desktop where is my data set getting data i open it the data so this is the data set that i am talking about okay and then i say next uh, next and then finish my data set is already uploaded in the system so the data set is already here so what i have to do is first i just select the three important variable that is the customer satisfaction drag it and it will create a three in variables that are correlated and under the first construct i can delete this one because we don't need it okay then the next one the brand loyalty what i can do just click this one and this will create the brand loyalty and then the next one is the purchasing intention i just drag it and this is my purchasing intention so simply just drag and drop it and it will come to the interface very easily okay so now what we can do that we would like to know that this is the direct path the customer satisfaction and the purchasing intention so what i have to do just click the purchasing intention and make this one so you can see there is no relationship between brand loyalty however let me see whether i can put it in the right side and then i would like to see that this real it has a relationship yes it is a relationship the customer satisfaction and purchasing intention has a relationship and the relationship shows 0.579 and you can see the correlated vari variables values and this purchasing intention correlated variable variables values are already given here very nicely okay now what we can do we go to the result section and here we can run the model if you want to run the model you can go to the run and you can change the different uh, criteria like stop criteria uh, you can send mean imputation you can use the bootstrapping meaning that bootstrapping sampling sizes you can edit that there is no issue of that okay so i am using the default settings so there is no problem with that so what i can do my results are already ready so i can export it in the html so now my html results are already here so you can see the report project information you can see that the report is created and code so this is my results algorithm results so maximum minimum you can see the nice little diagram the structural equation modeling this is the graphical representation of the model then overall model this is the model information so most of the model information you might not understand it you might think that the results may be difficult to understand so what i can do what i can do is i go to the again the software itself and you can you can easily save the results in excel format okay and once you save the excel format go to the grok and you see i upload the result in the grok i upload the result in the grok so once i upload the result in the grok i say explain the results in the attach file and you can see that the grok already give me the results of all the output that is coming from my relationship between the customer satisfaction and uh, and the purchasing intention so you see goodness of fit which is very important the standardized root mean square residual and it says it's less than 0 0.08 which is a indicates a good good fit okay and then it says uh, that these are the two important variables estimated uh, estimated model is 0 0.14 suggest poor fit for the structural model so it explains and interpret the results and also it can say the construction reliability matrices are given over here and the interpretation also given here convergent validity also there 
discriminant variable, which means atrovenanite monotriate ratio. These are the two ratio which will share that the two, three important customer satisfaction and your purchasing intention and also your uh, brand loyalty are distinct variables because under those variables there are so many independent variables so these are the distinct variables to un to match in the structural equation model to identify that we use this discriminate validity information so all this information are given here with the results and interpretation you can easily one by one read it and easily understand what this result means basically it gives you what which variables are significant which variables are not significant which are explaining quite well the dependent variable which are not and these are the information on overall goodness of the field these are the information uh, using also structural model results it gives you r squared result path coefficient results total effects results so you can see the interpretation is the structural equation suggests that the customer satisfaction strongly predict the purchasing intention explaining a moderate portion of its variance the absence of path involving bl which is brand loyalty suggests it wasn't included in the structural modeling which i did not add it in my structural equation modeling descriptive statistics also given over here and then you can see summary and implications you can see the summary and implications and recommendation as well this is how we can easily run structural equation modeling and smart pls using nnco without having any issue free completely free and this will help you to understand it and apply it in social science especially finance management um, uh, in business economics subjects where you need structural equation modeling and smart pls and you don't have access to amos and smart pls this is a very free option for you thank you so much my dear learners i will see you in the next tutorial until then bye bye